accepted by Harper Collins and they've published his book. They've since got a three book deal. Uh, the book is available here tonight. Uh, there's a limited number left. Uh, he's going to sell it for seven euros and anybody who wants one can get it, uh, <laughs> get it signed. <laughs> right, okay, so will you give a big round of applause for Bob Burr? used to standing up in front of a microphone, so, so bear with me. Um, also, because it's World Book Day, I was asked to uh, go to uh, Dunnock Moore National School this morning and uh, do a couple of readings and a Q&A session with them. So as a result, my voice is slowly sort of going. So if in about 10 minutes time, all you can hear is this. It's not because the microphone's a failure, it's because my voice is gone. Um, I had my middle son, I was reading stories and uh, Three Little Pigs was one of his favourites, and then one night he did ask, you know, what happened to the third little pig at the end of the story? And uh, I didn't really know, but because, you know, when you're working with children, you have to think on the fly. Uh, I said, well, I presume he got a job and, and lived happily ever after. You know, what, what kind of a job, you know? So now he was kind of pinning me to, sort of, you know, to the, well, he became a detective. And the only reason I said that was because I read a lot of crime fiction, I read a lot of detective fiction, and it was just the first thing that came into my head. And I said, yeah, that's fine, and promptly forgot about it. And then a couple of days later, the idea kind of came almost fully formed. Well, if he was a detective, you know, what kind of crimes would he investigate? And uh, because you have this huge sort of, you know, richness of uh, character in nursery rhymes and in fairy tales that you can play around with, you can really sort of, you know, have fun with the convention of these characters, you know. So, um, you know, if he became a detective, you know, what he needed a case, what would his case be? Well, you know... Yeah, these cases are always, they start off simple, you know, and um, just to digress a little bit, one of my favourite TV programs of all time was The Rock and Files um, from the 70s with James Garner, and things never went right for, for uh, Jim Rockford. You know, it started off with like a very simple case, find my dog, find some money, you know, shadow my wife, shadow my husband, and it would sort of just degenerate into sort of this convoluted case where bad things happened to him on a regular basis. So I tried to sort of use the same kind of approach and... Um, Figure well, you know, let's start out with something very simple, a missing piece of jewellery, a missing trophy, missing something. And uh, first thing he came up with was a lamp. I said, okay, Aladdin has a lamp. Let's have Aladdin lose his lamp, but let's have a backstory that our detective hero doesn't know anything about. And from that, you know, this whole plot almost, you know, wrote itself in the sense that, you know, I needed a minder for Aladdin because he's very rich, very, very shifty, and like all sort of rich, shifty businessmen, needed a minder, so I figured, well, who do we have that's a tough guy? Well, the three Billy Goats grow up for fairly tough, you know. Let's have, you know, one of those guys as his minder, you know, not too bright, you know, um, with a lot of muscle and very little lead. So it gave him sort of a chance of a bit of a dialogue between the detective and um, the, the growth because they don't like each other. So the thing sort of, you know, two groups, you try to figure out which one of them had the best mechanism for getting good critique that wouldn't allow you to skew the system. So that, you know, instead of a system where you throw in your work and then you bring up all your friends and you get them to bring up all their friends and you get them to bring up all their friends and then they all log on and tell everyone how great your book is, it goes to the top of the charts, you know, it's no good because there's no value coming back out of that. So I found a site called You Write On and this was maybe three, three and a half years ago. And what I liked about them was they had a system whereby you submitted your work and then it was assigned to somebody on the basis of they had done reviews, they would get credits, they would assign their credits to their book and um, once your book was out there with credits assigned to it, because of you doing reviews, it would then get assigned to somebody else who had done reviews as well.